Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we are going to see this uh, word data <coughs> scenario with the content enricher. What is content enricher? How it works? We will see today's class. Okay. So uh, now I am going to create one new I flow. Uh, so integration flow. I am going to give like word data enricher. Word data enricher. Add it. and go here so how to enrich the data what is enricher what types of enricher we have uh, what is the purpose of enricher uh, we will see today's class okay and i am going to take here like timer as as well uh, like uh, previous class and go here and take timer and now uh, external call first take request reply okay request reply request reply first we will pull the data from products okay uh, so take one receiver to, okay request reply and select vo data adapter and version 2 uh, go to connections connections we have to provide address we have some open resource uh, so I'm yeah placing it okay the authentication none why because this is open source if authentication required in real time we will use we have multiple authentication uh, authentication options based uh, one of them we have to choose okay for, but this uh, scenario authentication is not required because this is open source okay and go to here mainly this is the main part we have to select the resource path resource path nothing but here entity we have to select the word data entity in under processing tab get 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 in the sense we are fetching the data okay pulling the data from word data services uh, so once we select whatever we have provided the connection connected details same here uh, will be displayed and go to step 2 and we have to choose here uh, the um, respective entity so word data entity okay word data entity contains the word data structure like this okay i am selecting all the fields id name description release date everything i am selecting finish it okay <coughs> and next step next step uh, i will take one more external call Re no, here i am going to take enricher okay now enricher i am enriching two datas okay and this is end enricher is uh, is also uh, pull the data like uh, request reply but it will enrich the uh, this uh, uh, this data whatever coming to input right this uh, content enricher that input data with this um, you know whatever it is fetching the data right from receiver right that data it will both the data combine or enrich I will show you uh, I'm taking receiver again one more receiver with the same path same connectivity so if you see here this is difference here right no it is not working right always for enricher we have to pull reverse direction okay reverse direction go to o data and v2 okay now here take address so authentication is not required because this is word data again we have to same as usual we have to pull the entity from here entity now i am going to take i am going to take supplier so what i am doing here i'll tell you and i am selecting all the fields whichever available and finish what i am doing from here i am pulling the multiple products okay multiple products for each product respective enricher we have to give okay one minute before that i will show you the options here 
okay if you see here uh, aggregation algorithm we have two types combine and red rich what is different between combine and red rich combine is like it will uh, just blindly combine the two input data uh, um, two datas this uh, product data and supplier data it will both the payloads it will combine into one message okay this payload combine into one message a uh, combine is enricher means it will insert the it will insert the respective uh, you know uh, this supplier to uh, respective product okay you will see how it will insert or how it uh, it will enrich the data okay first of all we will see the combine option okay can combine option save save and put trace and we will execute this how it will be displayed okay so I enable the trace I'm going to take enricher yeah enricher successfully executed you will see the data okay first in first here there are two calls enricher and request reply first step it pull the only products see only products are there in second step enricher what it will do it will pull the data from uh, supplier data and it will append the supplier data and products data together okay here we are pulling uh, product data here it is pulling um, supplier data this enricher will combine I mean it will merge both the payload into one message see we will see the final output here download and go to here okay see here product product and if you go here these are the products right these are the products and multi messages okay here suppliers if you see here this is message 2 this is message 1 see combined both the messages this is supplier data okay this is supplier data and this is product data we have uh, more productors compared to suppliers here only two suppliers one two here there are more products okay and multi message one multi message two see two messages are there okay here two messages are there this multi messages this is belongs to supplier this is belong to supplier and just it merged into single message two messages it merged into single message this, this is called combined but enricher how it looks enricher what enricher will do I'll explain you go here if you take enrich okay here see original message and lookup message original message in the sense whatever it is coming uh, to enricher okay it is original message nothing but here products why because products only the input message to this one right that is original message and lookup message lookup message nothing but here whatever the message we are pulling from this step using this step whatever we are pulling the data here uh, lookup message is nothing but supplier okay so I'll give here path node and key element path node and key element what is the path node what is key element what is the path node what is key element I'll tell you okay this is the path name which I am going to give here sorry products product okay and for this path node suppliers suppliers slash supplier okay this is the path node under this path we can see the ID okay here ID 
and here id same name is there okay products also id is there suppliers also id is there what will be the output to this uh, message i'll show you here it will take this okay and this is the original payload original payload so our this uh, o data call this o data call first pull the suppliers here this is the suppliers right these are the suppliers it will pull the supplier data suppliers data okay suppliers data like this after pulling it will enrich the data to this products in the sense so what i have given here enricher key element is id key element is id means id value is common if the id value is common in product and supplier it will enrich to that respective product in the sense i'll tell you this is id is zero right id is zero for this supplier it will take this okay and it will search for zero id here zero id so under this it will insert got it the supplier will be inserted into the respective product why because this id is zero this id is zero next that record done next record is this one this supplier this supplier again id is one it will search for the respective id this is the id again it will insert this supplier into insert this supplier into this id okay go here take xml go here take pretty print okay see this supplier belongs to this product why because id is same okay and this uh, this supplier belongs to okay this product why because id is same so we have only two suppliers uh, so it is enriched enriched to the only two records remain records will be populated as it is why because for these products suppliers are not available okay our client will tell like send the data along with the respective suppliers to the target so in this case we will mainly it is useful for success factors success factors every time we have to pull the employee details in one entity again we have to um, payroll information we have to uh, respect to payroll in, uh, inf information if you want to uh, you know enrich then in this case we will use uh, in that case we will use uh, this scenario okay this model so we, now we will see and ex execute and we will see this uh, products how the output will be looks okay this is the enricher and it's also i'll execute here deploy we'll see the expected output as well 2137 yeah it is completed successfully we'll see the how it has enriched earlier what it did what it uh, did just it has combined the data just it has two messages combined the data now it should enrich the data like this okay uh, go to directly and go here wait for the public see products download and open this and go here language and pretty print see here supplier under this id supplier added see i i told uh, you right already i told same i explained right same this is this data and this is the same what i said this is i have arranged manually right see if you see here system also generated same way remaining are products uh, suppliers are not available populated as as it is only these two ids contains the uh, suppliers are available for these two ids these two are only enriched this is called enrich this is the main difference between 
combine and enrich. Combine is just merging two messages into one message. Enrichment, it's, it will insert the um, you know uh, uh, lookup message into uh, original message based on the key element, key element, whatever key element. This is the main example how it will enrich. Okay. In next class, what we will do, we have to generate one file, okay, one some CSV file, whatever text file, uh, using uh, this XML, okay, that we will see in the next class, okay, this is scenario. Thanks guys for watching my uh, videos, please subscribe and share, okay, please ask your friends also to subscribe my channels for more updates on CPA. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.